Mike, I know you've been doing lots of thinking about uh, life's purpose recently, and um, I'm just interested to know what's the latest. Thanks, Robert. Well, my view is after working with a number of people over recent months that the real question is, who am I? Yeah. And we need a deep understanding of that sense of who I am before we get to life purpose. Right, so I say it's a premature question before we've sorted out who we are. Yeah, I think so, because I, I think our life purpose emerges out of this sense of greater sense of who I am. And um, in our, our culture, we really don't have any good ways of looking into that. I, did, I think not any deep ways. It's not something we give a lot of attention to. Right, right, yes. Yeah, so, so one of the things I've been doing is, is drawing on some ancient wisdom, a body of self-knowledge and earth wisdom teachings that have their roots in the Mayan culture. Because it seems like they had a much more sophisticated sense of, of who we are as humans um, that, that saw the human as energy or energies flowing as part of a universe of flowing energies. Right, so these energies, just as you were talking there, image came to mind of um, eight colours on mm. the palette. Mm. And from that, those eight colours we can produce different kinds of images and different qualities of colour and there are different ways of mixing and matching those colours, those, co those energies. Yes, yeah. And that's reflected on who we are and how we are. Mm. I, I think that's a really good way to think about it. Well, that made me just think about the rainbow and, yeah. and the, the seven or eight colours of the rainbow that, that come together to make white or, or light as it were. Um, and I think the same applies to us. We, in this old, old way, there are eight energies um, and each of those energies vibrates at a slightly different level, like a different colour, I guess. Yeah. Um, and only when they're all vibrating at their optimal level, they all come together in balance. And, and we have a, then a deep sense of who we are and out of that we know what we're here for. So. I think it's important that that's where we start um, this sense of who I am and this, um, this wheel that I've developed, the wheel of eight power energies, is uh, I, I think a powerful way to start to open up this sense of who we are in a much bigger way than we tend to in our culture at the moment. Yeah, I, I like energy as a starting mm. point. I think it's... Uh, it leads us into a much more holistic kind of inquiry into patterns and because we can say how does the body express that particular energy, how does the mind, how does the spirit, how does the soul, Yes. how do all levels of our being express these different energy qualities. Yes, exactly and that's what we aim to do with this approach to life purpose is really look at how each of those energies are expressing themselves, which ones are, are bright and shiny which ones are a bit dull and, and underused. And from, from that sort of evaluation, uh, which we can do, we get, start to get a good sense of who we are and what needs shining. Yeah. yeah. What needs buffing up a bit. Exactly. And yeah. maybe what, what needs toning down a bit. Sometimes it's that as well, yeah. yeah. Well, that's a great, it sounds to me like a really good brief introduction mm -hmm. to this, this work, this work you've been doing, I'm sure we'll We'll revisit it in future and there'll be more depth and more detail. Great, yes, I look forward to that. Thank you, Robert.